It's a horrific scene. Bodies tossed about, bloody wounds, columns of smoke. Every emergency vehicle you can imagine rushing to help. And it's all fake. I'm shocked. I'm amazed. This, yeah, I come in here and I'm like, I'm surprised that everybody's going to this great length making up people. What first responders learned during this drill at CVG could one day save your life. Not on your side reporter Zach Pitts shows us how they prepared for a day we all hope never comes. This is what the response might look and sound like if a plane went down at CVG. The intensity is real. From the ground and in the air. That's because if a plane crash actually happened, every second would count. Over 600 people are a part of this training. This is where all the victims come and learn what their injuries are. The pilot went one way, I went the other, and next thing you know, I woke up like this. A piece of metal hit me in the head, and my neck hurts really bad. After the victims are prepped and ready, they're brought here. Well, this is obviously the staging area for this fake plane crash. You can see the two school buses, which is supposed to be a makeshift fuselage that's split in two on that crash landing. You can see all the victims, the passenger seats, and the luggage scattered throughout the field. The FAA requires airports to conduct full-scale disaster drills just like this every three years. So it's important for us to be prepared in case an incident were to ever happen here at CVG. Organizing a drill like this takes a lot of work and a lot of makeup. But it's valuable training when lives are on the line. From CVG, Zach Pitts, 9 on your side. So what's next? The organizers of the drill also shot video and took still pictures. They will analyze that information, plus information from the teams in the field. Then a formal presentation on what worked and what didn't will be made.